All right, we're packing up. Jet? Yeah. Packing up, why? Good to the hotel. We're going to a hotel. You know why? What? Hurricane Elsa. Fucking Elsa. Yeah. So we're packing up packing with the up. dog to go to a hotel to hang out for the day. Really, that's what we're doing. Yeah. We're hanging out we're for a day. Go, they're going to use their pool. We're going to use their pool and their Wi-Fi. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Good morning, it's Wednesday, July 7th, and we are here in, where are we? Oh, Crooked River State Park in Georgia, trying to outrun Hurricane Elsa. It's really not a hurricane, but I think it's a tropical storm. But there's supposed to be some winds and some rain, so we're just getting ready um, in case. So the first thing I have to do, in case of what, I don't know, but we're getting ready. Just in case we gotta leave, if the winds are too much and the rain is too much, we're, I think we're just going to pack it up and go to a hotel. Um, luckily, she's going to blow over during the day, which is nice. I'd much rather have a, a storm come during the day than at night when you can't see anything. But today, I'm going to do some preparation. I'm going to go out and uh, fill up the propane tank. I also put water, fresh water in the tank just in case the RV park, the state park here, loses electricity so we can uh, have water. But here we go. Not only are we going to get propane, but we're going to fill the car up with gas. Jill wants to have a bag ready, just in case. You know, when it's raining and windy, you really feel it in the RV because it's freestanding, so it shakes. So I, I really don't feel like we're in any grave danger. If I did, we would not be staying here at all. But, <clears throat> you know, just to take precautions, just in case. So now I've got gas in the car. This is a first for us. This is a first, you know, sticking it out through a tropical storm. We're wondering, do we stay? Do we go? I think we're going to be okay, uh, but we are taking the proper precautions to make sure that we're okay. Safety first. And gas. And poop. All right, we're packing up. Jet? Yeah. Packing up, why? Good to the hotel. We're going to a hotel. You know why? What? Hurricane Elsa. Fucking Elsa. Yeah. There's plenty of room. <laughs> Just packed for the afternoon. No big deal. <laughs> Everybody's well, coming. not for nothing. When Sandy came around, we packed for three days and we were gone for two months. So you never know. It's true. <laughs> Jet. Hotel. Great. Great. Hotel has a pool. Did you bring chargers? Yeah, so I have this one. All of a sudden, it was so cool, honey, like right at the perfect time. All right, Kelsa. You got the best of us. We're going to a hotel to ride it out with Monty Poo. heavier bands right now. A lot of rain, a lot of wind as you can see in some of these trees. And I must say, oh it looks like a lot of flooding here. And I must say my wife made a great call going to the hotel and not staying in the camper. Because if we were in the camper right now, we would definitely be like a little nervous. Well, Monty would be freaking out, which would freak out everybody. But it would be, uh, yeah, it would be pretty rough. So, up, oh, and there's some thunder. But this is definitely a safer place. So I see some campers over there. Let's go check that out. There's a couple RVs over there. I don't know what they're doing. But I feel so much better that we're in the hotel. Now we just, oh, the camper's on the move. Now we just have to hope that the hotel doesn't lose power. Oh yeah, there's definitely some flooding here. Some of the cars are flooded, which maybe we should check to see what the truck is. The truck is pretty elevated, so we should be okay. Maybe we should check. Maybe I'll move it. Nah, she looks alright. 
under a little bit of water, but not too bad. But yeah, this is uh, Tropical Storm Elsa. Here we are riding it out in the hotel. Summer 2021, riding out Elsa after we left Disney. Go figure. Did I mention again that this was a brilliant idea by my wife to be in the hotel? I don't have to tell her, believe me, she knows. But everybody's safe and sound. Right here in room 104. Everybody's safe and sound, right Pooh Bear? Okay. So we're headed back to the campground to see if there's any damage. Um, we're hoping no. There was a confirmed tornado that touched down five miles from where we are at the Crooked River State Park. Uh, the tornado touched down at the Kings Bay Naval Base Campground, which I'll show you the footage right here. Hours later, Elsa producing another tornado in southeast Georgia, this one touching down at a campground on a naval base. It is utter chaos over here right now. The winds flipping over and tearing apart large RVs. Pickup trucks flip over, debris everywhere, trailers knocked over. At least 10 people from the campsite were taken to the hospital. According to the Navy, there appears to be damage to buildings on the base, but a spokesperson confirms there's no damage to the submarines stored at the base. It was pretty crazy seeing that last night um, just kind of reaffirmed our decision to come to this hotel and ride it out because we would have been stressed the entire time yesterday in that camper. But we made a good decision and here we are. We're safe. Right, Monty? We were safe. And Monty was great. He wasn't spooked by the rain or thunder or any of the noises yesterday because we were in a hotel. In the RV, it would have been magnified and so loud. So. Daisy, there you are. Oh, the rug is a little thing and the bike fell. Other than that, she looks good. The electricity's on. Okay, here we are. Everything looks... I mean, it looks good, right? I don't see any damage. Of course, I have to somehow get to the top of the RV. Well, the slide was in, so that was good. The slide was in, right, that's good. And my bike is still here, albeit it's been knocked over, but that's okay. She's here. That's all right, as long as she's still here. Yeah. All I can say is thank God. Thank God we're all okay. Thank God everybody's safe. Thank God the RV is safe. Thank God we made that decision to go to the hotel because uh, it would have been it would have been very stressful here, and it you know it might have changed our views on RV. But you always what I learned is you have to stick with your gut. If your gut tells you not to be somewhere, don't stay there. And that's the beauty of of traveling like this. Our gut told us not to be in here during the storm, and we left, and we were fine. Taking a post Elsa bike ride. Everybody, by the way, everyone at the campground is talking about it. To the front, yeah. Everyone at the campground is talking about it. Dodge the bullet. That's what they're saying. Dodge the bullet. I'm just saying, if we stayed and if we had to take shelter when the rest of the people in the campground, it would have been a disaster. Disaster. <laughs> so now we're going to enjoy a little bit of Crooked River State Park. Lots of wildlife here. Just another example. We saw the armadillo yesterday and now. Turtle. Chet, do you see the turtle? We stayed here at Whipper Whipperwill Farms in South Carolina. Uh, it's near like Hilton Head. We actually got a site with 
water and electric, which was awesome. Nice big pull through site. And we were right across the street from chickens. Aside from the fact that at uh, 5.30 we heard I guess it was time to wake up. This was a really great stop. We, oh, we really enjoyed it here. And I did some manual labor. You see that white fence right there? Yeah, I, I put that fence up. I put that fence up myself with these, my own two hands. So I got involved, which was nice. This was a great little stop, especially with the water and the electric in South Carolina in July. Oh, you know what I just remembered? What? I felt safe. Oh, well that's good. Why, do you not feel no, safe? Meaning, no, like remember the Harvest host, I used to not feel, like it didn't even like occur Dawn to on me you? to not feel safe. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, the animals, the pigs would have protected you. Oh, little piggies. Mm.